knows you can't get there from here? Well, that is no longer true. And we're about to prove that with a little real life application. We're gonna have a race to find out what's the best GPS nav app for your iPhone. We're gonna start here at Metropolis Metro Town in Burnaby and head all the way down to the Gastown Steam Clock in Vancouver. I will be using TomTom. Tom. And me, have Garmin, will travel. Looks like uh, we're just heading down Willingdon here right now and uh, soon we'll hit the freeway and hopefully that'll be my secret to success and get me to the steam clock faster than Miriam. The Garmin GPS is telling me the fastest way is to take Kingsway to Powell. I love it, only three steps. So TomTom's actually used by 45 million people. That's a lot of people not getting lost. And what I like about it is that it actually downloads all the maps into the app itself. It's actually about 1.5 gigabytes, which is a lot. But the upside there is that you don't have to have a data or mobile uh, plan going. You can simply use the GPS that's uh, built into the iPhone. Garmin Street Pilots lets you navigate through the streets of virtually any city with access to up-to-date maps in the area you're traveling in. Once you connect, you can download the information you need for the area you're in. I turn ahead towards Oakleton Avenue. Getting a little crazy in traffic here right now, but we're just about to uh, get on the freeway. So the nice thing about freeway driving, it also offers lane assist. And essentially what that means is it'll tell you what lane to get in when the uh, appropriate freeway exit's coming up. Plus it also has different languages for the different types of voice navigation. And if you want to, you can choose between different color palettes for day and night driving to make it easier to view on the screen. Boasting an exceptionally user-friendly interface, Garmin offers traffic avoidance and lets you multitask so you can use your phone as your phone while navigating. If a route has changed or if a new route has opened up, you can add them to the database to let others know about it. So TomTom Tom also lets you triangulate your position with cell towers with the enhanced GPS to give you even more accurate read. It's almost impossible to get lost with this thing. Garmin features speed limits for major roads, real-time traffic updates, weather reports, and also features voice instruction with Bluetooth or a headset, which is really handy when you're driving. So we're just coming up on Gastown uh, right now and can almost taste victory. 400 meters, turn left onto Powell Street. You hear that? Garmin knows what's best. You're going down, Agarbo. You're going down. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> what took you so long? Hey! Tom Tom wins. Yes. Okay, so we know that clearly uh, I am the winner of this particular race. What did you like about your particular app? You know what, my app wasn't that bad. The only thing I didn't like about it is that it gives me the arrival time, but it didn't give me the countdown time of how long it's gonna actually take to get here. Well, TomTom Tom does uh, have that. What I liked about mine was that it was very intuitive. The menu is really simple to get through, and I like the Google search functionality as well, that I can search these destinations. The one thing I didn't like is all the extra features. If mm -hmm. you wanna get some of those, you have to pay a subscription fee, so that kinda adds right. up after a while. Yeah, well, I'm really bummed. How about we race again? Best two out of three? You're on. Okay.